there's much speculation as to who the 24 elders are. But every time we see them, they are worshiping, often with the four living creatures. Shalom and greetings from Jerusalem. My name is Joan Lippis, or hashtag Joni in Jerusalem, welcoming you to Lunchtime Prayer for Israel. Lunchtime Prayer for Israel is part of the Novea Ministries family. That's why I keep sending you over to novea.org, our website, where you can learn so much about who we are and what we're doing and find other videos to watch. But don't forget, if you want to subscribe to the videos, you need to go to YouTube. And don't forget to click on notifications, which is that little bell, and click on all so you will be notified whenever we have a new video. And you'll also find on novea.org media slash video teachings that we have all sorts of videos. And you will also see we have two YouTube channels. We have Lunchtime Prayer for Israel, and the link is there. And we also have Joni's Jewels, which are just jewels from life and jewels from the word, and I think you'll, you'll like them both. So don't forget to subscribe. Please take a look at our website, and always we get so much encouragement when you either make a note under the YouTube channel, under the video, or send me a private message. I really appreciate it. Well, we're in part two of our end time series. Part two is the tribulation, and the title of today Obviously, the 24 elders. There is much speculation about the identity of these elders. I, I like the suggestion that 12 would come from the tribes of Israel and the other 12 would be the apostles. But we really don't know. What we do know is that these elders have thrones themselves which reflect their importance to God. So let's look at Revelation Chapter 4, verse 4. Around the throne there were 24 thrones, and on the thrones I saw 24 elders sitting, clothed in white robes, and they had crowns of gold on their heads. Every time, every time we see the 24 elders, they're worshiping. They're worshiping God, and often they're worshiping along with the living creatures. And now let's look at Revelation 4, verses 9 through 11. Whenever the living creatures give glory and honor and thanks to him who sits on the throne, who lives forever and ever, the 24 elders fall down before him who sits on the throne and worship him who lives forever and ever, and cast their crowns before the throne, saying, Worthy, 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 you are worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power, for you created all things, and by your will they exist and were created. Worthy, worthy, worthy. And now we look at Revelation 5, verses 8 through 10. Now, when he had taken the scroll, the four living creatures and the 24 elders fell down before the Lamb, each having a harp and golden bowls full of incense, which are the prayers of the saints. Your prayers, beloved. And they sang a new song. You are worthy to take the scroll and to open its seals, for you were slain and have redeemed us to God by your blood out of every tribe and tongue and people and nation and have made us kings and priests to our God, and we shall reign on the earth. Amen. And let's pray for the day when all of Israel will 
fill Jerusalem, will fill Jerusalem with that new song. Worthy, worthy, worthy are you, O Lamb of God. Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus, our Messiah. Oh, I know God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit are longing for that day even more than I am longing for that day. And your prayers are in those bowls. Imagine that. Every one of your prayers are in those bowls. Amen and amen. And so with that, beloved, I say don't forget to subscribe and communicate. I love to hear. I love to hear from you. And you do that just on novea.org slash connect. And with that, I do say lehitraot. Shalom from Jerusalem.